Hello everyone, this is Get Ready With Me for Forget Me Not, which is an Alzheimer's association. I hope you enjoy. I have some footage of the event after this, so I'll see you right now. So starting off with makeup, here I'm putting on some primer because it will be, it is the longest day, so we need primer. And then here I'm just putting on some foundation, I believe it is from MAC, not sure which one it is, but it's from MAC. I'll put it in the <laughs> description in the bottom. And then I'm putting on some concealer again from MAC on my imperfections. And then blending that out again with the same brush. Time to highlight with my prep and prime. I think it's in light boost. Just putting it in places where I want to highlight and yeah, then blend, blend, blend. So now I'm going to prime my eyes using Bear Study from MAC. It's a pink pot and just putting it all over the lid. And now I'm using Blank Type by MAC and I'm just going to put that all over the lid so the paint pot won't crease, which it won't crease, but you know, on the safe side. With a fluffy brush, I am going to grab some of my bronzer and just put it on the crease, you know, just to give it a little bit more dimension because we're not going to use a lot of eyeshadow, but that's what we want. And I'm going to get a little bit of purple because the colors for the benefit are black and purple, especially purple. So I'm putting some purple on my lower lash just for a little pop of color. And for my eyeliner, you know how it goes, just wearing liner. So now that we're done with liner, I'm just going to go curl my lashes and then pop some mascara and layer up that mascara, especially if you're not going to wear lashes. So now I'm just going to powder up the face to add a little bit more coverage because I did not put that much foundation on. And then I'm going to start bronzing with the same bronzer that we used on the crease. Um, you don't have to, but obviously use whatever bronzer you want, but that's what I did here. Now I'm just adding some blush. I don't even remember what blush I used. I just grabbed it because I was a little bit late, but yeah, just pop whatever is your favorite blush and then just do your eyebrows I always do my eyebrows afterwards a lot of people do it before it's up to you and then just putting out some pink lip gloss because we don't want it to be extremely dramatic and I think this one's strawberry parfait by NYX I do remember that then we're done with makeup we're gonna go with hair and yeah we need to fix this nest so here I'm just gonna brush my hair out just Gently, mija. I didn't do that. And then just put your favorite oils. I combined my macadamia oil with my aragon oil, I believe. Just put them together and put it on the ends. And then obviously, I wait like 5 to 10 minutes and then put on my heat protectant and then wait 5 more minutes to that, let that sink in. And that's when I start putting on some heat. So here, I'm just blow drying my hair because it was a little bit damp. I had washed my hair the night before, but I slept with a bun, so yeah. So now I'm just going to part my hair into four to five sections, I don't remember, and then just start straining it. Just a little tip, when you're straining your hair, try to use a brush or a comb, go through that strand and then go through the strainer so there will be no knots, and try to go slower than usual because it's better to go once or twice very slowly than ten times. So once we are done with that, I'm going to grab a little part on my uh, crown just so it can be smooth because for some reason I always have creases there. Lift it up and then start straining up and it would also give it volume. So now that we're done with that, let's go with parts of the benefit.
Kleenex and an atomizer. There's a closet in the corner. Five hundred twenty-five thousand bones.